Hello guys, and in this video, I put together some of the best drops that I've found from farming cows over the course of one day with none other than the Lightning Fury Javazon. This build was made with one thing in mind, to kill cows as fast as humanly possible. And before we jump into the loot portion of the video, I'm just going to go over the build real quick. Just to bring up a few things to take note of, uh, especially with the changes that Blizzard has made to the cow level, where you can actually kill the cow king now, and uh, speaking from experience, the cow king is actually able to drop a whole bunch of good stuff. So uh, because this build is centered around charge strike and lightning strike only, uh, you don't actually have a way to deal with lightning immunes, and the cow king most of the time is going to spawn with lightning immune. So you're going to need a form of, well, you're basically going to need a beefed up mercenary to help you kill the cow king. And in order to do that, you're going to need uh, some items such as the Ethereal Colossus Voge to boost your monk's damage. And uh, I made the Runeward Insight on it uh, to help, uh, well, it's just standard Insight to help keep your Lightning Free spam up with the Meditation Aura. Um, conveniently, you can find these uh, ethereal bases all from cow level uh, which is one of the benefits of farming cows is um, a lot of you, you, you're going to be able to come across a lot of the bases that people need uh, to make their rune words in uh, to sell at a profit so um, inside on a Col ethereal colossus voge um, so yeah look out for these Ethereal basis when you're farming cows. Uh, helpful tip to help you save time would be the ethereal items can only, it'll always be grey in colour when they drop. So you don't have to pick up every piece of Colossus Voge you find just to check if it's ethereal or not. Uh, the ethereal ones are always grey. And uh, the other gear on the mercenary is treachery on, on the armour. Uh, it's just going to help boost his attack speed and damage. And uh, the main thing you want to look out for in the helmet is a source of life stolen per hit. I'm personally using Endow's Visage, which I found from Warstone Keep level 3. But uh, if you're not able to get this, you can also use Tal's helmet. You can use uh, Vamp Gates. You can use uh, Crown of Thieves. All these items give you life stolen per hit. And yeah, that's basically... The important thing to take note of with this build is the mercenary is very key for this build to be able to kill the cow king with. Alright, for the rest of the build is fairly straightforward. You're going to max charge strike and lightning fury. Pretty much going to be only using these two skills. Uh, charge strike, I have charge strike in my left click for single target, lightning fury for AoE. And you're going to want to max all the synergies for these two skills which is power strike, Lightning Bolt, as well as Lightning Strike. And for the Passive and Magic Tree, one point in Critical Strike, one point in Penetrate, just to unlock Pierce. You can just put one point in this and let the plus skills do the rest. And uh, this portion, I have one point in Inner Sight, one point in Slow Missiles to unlock Decoy. It's actually, I feel like it's optional. I was just messing around to see how it works, but uh, I don't think it's really necessary. And for the items, very straightforward, you just want to look out for plus to javelin and spear skills. This is going to help boost your lightning fury damage. So I have Titan's Revenge, which gives plus a total of plus four to skills. And uh, Harlequin's Crest, Shaco, plus two to all skills. Uh, budget replacement would be uh, and maybe an, a, a law rune word. Just uh, if you're, you're not able to get a Shaco yet, it's fine. Um, Spirit on a Monarch. I'm personally using a gem 4 socket worm height uh, with 4 perfect topaz just to boost my MF up since I am, this is my first character after all and I'm just really looking to farm uh, more items which I'm sure most of you are right now. So um, yeah, just MF, MF gear and a good thing about this, uh, well farming cows in general is you don't have to worry about resist too much because most time you're, you're just going to be hiding behind your mercenary and throwing lightning fury. So don't have to worry too much about your resist. 
I think the important piece of gear that you really need is the razor tail shark skin belt. Now this belt is going to help increase your clear speed by a ton when it comes to cows because of the piercing attack affix uh, in combination with your pierce from the skill tree you're going to get 100% piercing attack on your lightning fury and this is is going to help uh, boost your clear speed by a ton so yeah you can get these uh, cheap from the forums trade forums or whatnot uh, maybe at most they'll cost they'll cost uh, maybe an amrun at most so yeah really this is the only thing you want to be looking out for if you're able to uh, fill your inventory with uh, skillers that will also bo help boost your damage and you know more damage output means more uh, faster clear speed which means you're going to farm a lot faster so um, yeah the next portion of this video is just going to be some of the loots highlight uh, uh, highlight from the runs I did over the course of one day so I think I took about eight to ten minutes per run and I must have farmed about maybe six to seven hours of back-to-back -back non-stop cow killing um, it was all done on, on my stream at Twitch. I stream over at twitch.tv slash cline90. So if you're interested uh, to catch me live the next time, uh, do drop me a follow. But if not, um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. That's pretty much it. And um, if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the, uh, uh, down below. And uh, if not, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. And I'll see you guys again next time. Yes! Yes! Nice! Three open socket. Sweet. Is that what I think it is? Tell me it ain't so. Tell me it ain't so. Alright. No, it's rune, man. Holy shit. Win the Alibaba. Yeah. <laughs> oh Damn Oh my god Time to run off javelins.
<laughs> oh my goodness! Oh! She's laying on hands. Oh, yes. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Found a lem rune. Yep. Um, let me try to roll the base first. Del. Tool. And a perfect topaz. Oh shit, I don't have a perfect topaz. Alright, thanks. Alright guys, this is it. Pray for the tree socket. Perfect treachery. Ethereal treachery. Let's go. Boom. Oh my god! I'm so fucking good at this game. Oh my god, you're so good. I'm so good at this game, dude. You're a great player. I'm so I'm so fucking good, dude. No, tree. Three, three. 